Hi, I'm Alan Patrick. I'm one of the community managers for the D&D Adventurers League, and I'm really excited right now. I just got my Platinum Edition uh, Waterdeep Dragon Heist from Beetle and Grimm. It's taken a little bit to get here. Uh, the box has not yet been opened, and, uh, well, bear in mind that I've got a toddler at home, so there's going to be some background noise. He's a big fan of watching Boss Baby. So uh, let's get into the box. Let's see what we've got. Unfortunately, I don't really have a tripod to put this on, so we're going to go gentle and see what we come up with. Alright, we've got our standard packaging. Look at that. Folded up paper, we got a little bit of styrofoam. We got a whole mess of stuff here. Look at all of this. We've got uh, really, really thick quality maps. Get a little glare from the ceiling there. Uh, but yeah, we've got uh, some of the districts of Waterdeep. Um, very, very thick stock. Uh, this is all that high durable uh, erasable laminate <clears throat> Over here we have the DM screen DM screen looks sharp. I like that very cool artwork from the interior of the book We have the individual books for Waterdeep Dragon Heist so the uh, it's the platinum edition as you see in the uh, the, the text down below uh, the the hardcover has been split up into its component pieces so uh, Spoilery, I suppose, but there are multiple villains. Each villain's going to have its own chapter. There's the actual heist portion at the end that's going to have its own section. That is incredibly helpful. And it's a lot lighter than carrying around the, uh, the, the full hardcover all the time. Uh, we have... Let's take a look at this. We've got... Uh, looks like our... Oh, our individual monster cards. So, Zentarum Thug we see there. We've got some artwork of the Xanathar. Uh, the beholder crime lord of Waterdeep caught somebody stealing some of the uh, some of the gold dragons. So a big old chest, very intimidating. <clears throat> we have some of the premium handouts, the code legal, the, uh, the it's the governance of Waterdeep, the laws along with some of the punishments. Uh, behind it we see some sample broadsheets. Oh, bonus encounters. So this is one of the many reasons to actually purchase this. Uh, there's some additional content that was produced specifically for the uh, for the, the Platinum Edition. And I'm not going to break this one open. I'll get into the other packets here in a little bit. Uh, but we want these to be a surprise. Uh, if you're going to watch the Fistful of Platinum stream, we will be running all of that bonus content. Uh, and that'll be Saturday mornings, 9 a.m. PST on Twitch. We've got a big canvas thing here. Crinkle, crinkle. Oh, crinkle, crinkle. My dining room full of baby stuff. It's held together with masking tape. So we're gonna peel that back. And Look at this. So I think we're going to get the full impression here, but uh, that is a very, very durable uh, canvas map of Waterdeep and of a certain tavern that the characters uh, come into ownership of. As they proceed through the adventure, there is a chance that they might uh, own that tavern and build themselves some extra story hooks and business opportunities. Uh, I really hope my players take up ownership of it, because there are some really cool things that I'm hoping to work into their stories. That is that is some durable canvas. <clears throat> yeah, we'll get into the big box here in a moment. We got this. It's got a whole bunch of moving pieces in it. All right. Nondescript cardboard box. Let's see what they've got for me. Yep, yeah, that's the back of my hand. It's fantastic, isn't it? All that pasty Midwestern flesh. Ah, there we go. True gamer complexion. That's me. 
And let's take a look. And this is going to be our collection of minis. So no uh, no minis exclusive to the box. But this little guy might as well be exclusive. The Beholder here from the uh, Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures. This thing, look at the detail on this. Now if you can find these, they're only like five or six bucks at the game shop. But man, these Beholders are flying off the shelf. Uh, and then, of course, you're going to get a bunch of other stuff. We've got some Drow, Dwarf Barbarian, our buddy the Barbarian. Once again, the Beholder. That's my favorite. I love that thing. The Halfling Rogues. You get a little two-pack there. He's got a little vanishing explosion going on in the back. Looking at a collection of Bugbears. And then we've got two more bugbears, slightly different poses. Elf Ranger, both dual wielding. Tiefling Sorcerer with a really cool magic spray effect coming up and over it. Uh, and then if you look, you can kind of see he's got like the bolts coming out in an array in front of him for the other figure. That's pretty slick. The Troll with the uh, the dreadlocks as we see from the uh, the monster manual for 5th edition uh, mind flayers let's go ahead and get a good shot of them you know for five dollar figures these are pretty terrifying the air genasi rogue and last but not least the human wizards Human Wizards actually have some really cool sculpts in this. I've already opened one of these for myself. Uh, you've got one with the Staff of Power there, and then you have this other one who's got a uh, firebolt coming out of his uh, out of his hand. You see the strange peg at the end. It actually just plugs into the back of the spell effect. Throw a little red wash on there with some like yellow and white highlights. It, it makes those colors pop. That thing looks really, really good. <clears throat> so let's move all this stuff. Throw those back in the box. Throw that down there. And we got the Big Daddy. We got this great big thing right over here. There's a lot of tape on that. So let's give it, give it a gentle cut. I don't want to get into that box. Because this is what's going to carry this whole monstrosity. And I mean monstrosity in the most loving method possible. Gentle, gentle. Oh. Look at that thing. We've got a little embossing. It's got this leatherette cover. You can see the outline of the gold dragon. Gold dragon, of course, being the currency that Waterdeep uses. Not necessarily the creature. Depends on how far, uh, how steep you are in Forgotten Realms lore, I suppose. Go ahead and get that out of there. A little bit of errant plastic holding on. Toss that behind me for a quick second. We need some space. Because that's everything in the box. My beautiful table. My beautiful, I mean, heirloom, which is also, you know, code for free. We have a little peg holding that shut there. Let's take a look at the inside because there are some more shiny things in there. As we look at this, actually, before we open it, let's flip it over. Uh, we have that whole embossed front, Platinum Edition, Beetle and Grim. We got that sort of mocked up tome look. And we get onto the back. You got the, uh, the Beetle and Grim collectible number down there. I am number 283. This is a limited run of 1,000. Uh, and then it's smooth on the back. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we've got. Pop it open. First time you're gonna see this. All right, so the cover doesn't completely lay flat. Be very, very careful if and when you get yours. And we've got a whole bunch of physical goodies to go over here, so I'm gonna stand this up. Yeah, black screen, sorry about that. Ooh. 
so many things. So many. All right. Look at this stuff going everywhere. Because this is just going to be way easier. All right. So up here, we have the Beetle and Grimm Platinum Edition. This was in the, uh, the holder up on top. Contents, what's in the box? We get a, a letter here from Bill, Charlie, John, Matthew, and Paul. That is the team at Beetle and Grimm. We look up here, what's in the box? It gives you the full breakdown of all those books that I already pulled out, the minis, the DM screen, battle maps, player handouts, all sorts of stuff. The bonus encounters, right down over here. A little advertisement for their uh, their group, and of course there are credits because they took a lot of very talented people to pull this off. So let's just put that back in place. Uh, now the physical goodies, the silica pack, because everyone likes silica packs. We got the Beetle and Grim bag. Now uh, this might be used for dice. It is fairly large. Um, I've been gaming for a while. It's not big enough to hold all my dice. I will freely admit that. But it is big enough to hold all of these physical things. We have the badge of the watch. The badge actually has the uh, the clasp and the pin. That is, uh, it's got some it's got some good weight to it. Uh, crafted by Han Cholo. Very very impressive. We have this is pretty slick. We have the Eye of Galore. You'll notice that it is actually three eyes. The Stone of Galore, rather. Uh, this, as far as Forgotten Realms lore goes, a couple of magnets on the back. This is the Petrified Eye of an Abolith, or so the story goes. Uh, this attaches to the front of the box and actually looks really cool. We have a Harper pin. Standard clasp on the back. If you are more for the Lord's Alliance, we have this. It's one of their signet rings. Uh, I don't have very big fingers, and that would be a challenge even for me, so that's more of a pinky ring, I think, which is probably appropriate. We have one of the Waterdeep Gold Dragons. This is the actual metal coin that was minted by Wizards of the Coast to celebrate the release of the book. Uh, as you can hear... It's actually got some, uh, it's got some weight to it, so it does feel like an actual coin. We've got another one of those. We have a third one. We have the Zentarum Diving Dragon. Standard clasp going on back there. The Order of the Gauntlet Necklace. You have the, uh, the gauntlet grasping the sword. You have the fine chain. We have the Emerald Enclave pin. So it's set up to look like it's, uh, you have the outline of the stag on top of the leaf. Uh, let's see what we've got in the tiny black boxes. So here, enjoy, uh, enjoy a view of some loot for a quick moment while I tear these open. I know what these are, and I don't want to ruin the surprise quite yet. You're going to hear some jingling here for a moment. My players are going to see these tomorrow, if they make it this far in the game. These are pretty cool. Come here. All right, and let me depackage one of them. So... There are four of these things. Troll Skull Tavern. They come with clips. And they come apart to become their own uh, oversized shot glass. So you have Troll Skull Tavern. It's hollow on the back side. That's going to hold some liquid. I know in my gamers it's going to hold some good liquid. And then, as we put it down, it collapses right back in on itself. And there we have it. So that is a tavern cup. That is pretty slick. 
So we're going to go ahead and put all that stuff in the bag for now for careful and easy organization. All the things, because it looks like we have a little bit of exploring left to do. And once again, that stone of galore. That is, that's cool. I like that. All right. As we look in here, we have this sturdy inlay. You have the boxes, the, the little containers. We have the, uh, the, the flooring here. Oh. And pull that out. We have a, a foam inlay on the bottom. And down below we have a couple more goodies. In here, we have our art prints. So on the back side you see X19 Xanathar Sanctum. Uh, looks like we've got some, uh, some cultists, probably of Asmodeus. I hear that might be tied to the storyline somehow. Uh, we have another group of battle maps. And uh, we also have a cert. Now this cert is for the Adventurers League. And I'm not going to show the whole thing because it is a bit spoilery. Uh, it is the Troll Skull Manor Hearth of Healing. It's full effect. You're going to need to find somebody with a platinum box. So we're not going to do any spoilers on that here. But uh, I'm sure you might see one or two of these if you go to Winter Fantasy in Fort Wayne in February. All right. So... Mm -mm. That looks like a pretty full and complete exploration. We have one last thing here, which is uh, we already saw the big canvas version of the map. Now we have your standard uh, paper, high quality print. The DPI is very, very good. Uh, but you have your full map of Waterdeep. Uh, this is going to be, looks like poster size or maybe a little bit bigger, but that is pretty slick. Wonderful art by Mike Schley, very talented cartographer. Uh, I am I'm stoked. All right, everybody, that's the Platinum Box. You're going to see more of this on Fistful of Platinum uh, every Saturday morning, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pacific on the Wizards Twitch channel. Once again, I'm Alan Patrick. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for putting up with my mess and my toddler. See you soon.